All right, guys, today we are back with episode three of our D1 series. If you guys haven't been staying tuned, the last two matches, the first one was against Luke Powell, number six ranked NCAA college golfer. Second one was against Luke Clanton. I won the first one, lost the second one. I'm one and one. Now today, I'm challenging a good, good athlete, corn Perry to a professional golfer, an Auburn alumni, Andrew Cozy. Sliding it like a wet flow, already fried from the get go. Alligators look like what echo. The? Everything I do, they echo. How we doing? Thanks for coming back on the channel. Course. Glad to be here. As you guys know, obviously played at Auburn. You played all four years, right? Four years. With this series, obviously, I'm not only challenging current D1 golfers, but I'm challenging past D1 golfers, now professional golfer, Corn Perry Tour. How are we feeling? Feeling dialed today. This weather's perfect right now. It Finally is. getting cooler down in Florida, under 90 degrees. So, feeling good today. Feeling good you today. hit some range balls? Hit a few wedges. You're a beast in match play, huh? I like to think so. It's mind games. It is mind games. I was playing mind games with the clan the whole time. Ended up losing. Let's flip T to see who goes first. And all right, goes in. It's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine over there. You can miss it everywhere on this board. But the angles, you gotta get the angles around here. Right. Just gotta hope you're not behind a tree. That's all. Try a little wind cheater. Nothing crazy. Hmm. Miss the bunker, please. Yummy. All right, solid start, come on. The PGA Tour season is back, kicking off this week with the Century, and, and I gotta say, that's really good for us. That's good for us, because now we can finally do some golf picks over at Underdog Fantasy, which today, by the way, they're the sponsor of today's video. You guys can just pick higher or lower on your favorite player stats and win big money. Underdog offers easy, simple picks on golf, football, basketball, UFC, eSports, and more. Guys, it's pretty simple. Again, you can just pick higher or lower stats on your favorite player. For me, it'll be in this week's tournament for the century. And if you guys pick two to five players, you can actually get a pick em entry, which guys, if you get all your picks right, you can win up to 100 times your money. It's a pretty big deal. Also, Underdog is available in 30 plus states, including California, which we are currently in, the beautiful state of California, Texas, Canada, and more. So for this week, I'm picking Xander Shoffley because he's played well in the past at the Century, and I'm gonna pair that. You guys can also do the same thing. You can pair any of your picks with Kevin Durant to go over one point. And if he gets over one point, you'll 3X your money. That's what I'm gonna do, and hopefully 3X my money. This is the easiest way to make money on Underdog. Uh, if you guys wanna sign up today, go and link in the description, use code GMGOLF in all caps, and uh, Underdog will actually double your first deposit up to $100. Again, that's code GMGOLF, all caps. Link at the top of the description. Woo! Shout out Underdog. Let's get back to the video. I don't really know much about your college career. Talk to me a little bit about Went in freshman year. year. Didn't do too great my freshman year. It was kind of like the bubble guy. So played maybe like half turn my first two years. Okay. Finally got like fully in the starting five. My third year was probably like the three or four guy and then kind of worked my way up to like the one or two guy. My senior year ended up getting my first win uh, at UF's event towards the end of my senior year. Felt like we did pretty decent and then we missed at regionals, get the NCAAs by one my last year. Damn. 69 yards here. Front pin. Just got to lock in. Last match just finished up on hole nine. I got to kind of erase everything that happened there and almost like refocus in a way and, and almost feel like this is the first hole. We're like restarting. Woo! Whoa! All right, I'm coming out the gate swinging today. I got to tree my way. You go up, around, I don't know, 75 yards, but I got to go straight up with this thing. Run the upslope though. I think I'm gonna try and go over it. He's in there close, so we gotta make birdie. Hey, I'm back, out for blood. Yeah. What the? No way this gets there, right? That's short. Dude, that came backwards. I literally- I think they got to the pin and came backwards 20 yards. 100% it did. There's a lot of wind up oh there. Oh my gosh. I'm just happy I didn't go in the tree. I knew you were going high. I didn't know you were going that high. It was like 100 yards in the air. Yeah. Did you play in any big match play stuff in college? Honestly, I don't think so. Really? Mm -hmm. SECs, we won SECs my freshman year, but I wasn't like on the starting five that year. Do you have much experience with match play? Uh, I think so. I'm do you, sure. do you like, like change your mentality at all? No. When you just play no. the same? Yeah. That's smart, to be honest. He's pretty much in for birdie, so I got a little fizzy nipper up there. I landed a yard short. That lands on, that has a chance, but just kind of hit the collar and stuff. All right, down the hill for the birdie.
That snap. Yeah. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> no, no, no. That yeah, come on, Clan. <laughs> what are we doing out here? Oh my God. Oh. I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie. I, I just didn't see that much break, but oh well. Guess I gotta read this now. It's a big putt now. I was just sitting here ready to pick up my mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. What? What? Match play king. Oh my God. We should have gone good, good to start. We, you do I, have birdie, I have par. Right. <laughs> what do you expect out here? I hope that's not what the day is going to entail. <laughs> yeah, that was like inside the hole entirely. I, Sick. The greens came to play, I guess. Sick. And we didn't. Par four, hole number 11. That was just not an ideal start. Laying up short of the water, Kozan is. I'm not. I'm getting aggressive. I'm just staying aggressive today. Taking it up over the left trees, and if you're left, you're left. Yep. Basically what I said, right? It might, be on, it might be on a tee box over there. Yeah, that's literally where I was aiming. I was like, aim left, avoid the water. If I hit it left, I hit it left. So if I try to aim left and avoid the water, I'll probably cut it into the water. So I'm gonna <laughs> lay back short of the water. How's everything been with uh, pro golf travel? Good, it's been well. All that jazz. Yeah, kind of been taking, so after we played last time, I ended up having to take, took eight weeks off. That was the last time I played and then took eight weeks off. I had to get surgery. On what? My low back. So I was already in pain, yeah. So I was playing it through that for a few months, and then right towards the end of the year, we ended up deciding to take off. What? The last like three or four events. What, what was the surgery? Uh, How was, intense was it? It was not too bad. It's got a rhizotomy, so like the facet joints, I guess, on your spine, they go in there and they kind of sever those nerves. So then they like you stop getting all the like, the pain, like the shooting pain. Uh huh. Everything's good now, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Seventy yards, fairway. That's why you lay back. Got to get a lot of spin on this one. Go, me bird. There you go. Nice. Just trying to lift this one out. Yeah, right. Perfect spot. That's what I'm saying. Like you can literally go as far left as you want pretty much in this hole and be fine. On the tee box, honestly, the lie is like almost too tight, but we're just going to trust it. Kozan's probably in for birdie. So got to see if I can put one inside of him, make birdie myself. Woo. A little nipper, a little nip sauce. Hopefully we can actually get that one to fall maybe just maybe go two up we'll see let's get these greens to be friendly to us yeah well me not you but just tap it in just tap 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 a rule oh my oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> here we go again no way no way <laughs> that's good Hey, good pars, good pars. Yeah, there no, we go. well done, yeah. well done. That was textbook, textbook pars. Probably can't get there today. Normally this is easily reachable, but I believe today it's not going to be. Gonna take some frustration out on this golf ball. Swung as hard as possible. Here you go. That's a good spot. Well short. Yeah, ball. Sweet. Well done there. Apparently it needs to be an absolute tap in for me to uh, make birdie. I'm gonna try and get nippy with it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not a tap in. At your, at your distance. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. Good, good par, yeah. Well, I don't know what he's gonna make there. I, I would think birdie, but uh, I don't know now. Yeah. Just don't want to lift this one out again. Right to left. I'm going to trust it. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's good. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was a test. That's a really good putt. Dude. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's Yes. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's try and not get frustrated. Got to stay dialed. Lots of golf to be played. We're learning. You know, we're learning for the stroke play after this. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So now, when you when you hit it there later, you're gonna make it. Yeah, because I'm gonna know. You're gonna know exactly what it does. It breaks a little more than I thought. You know, that's that. Oh. Did that get in your eyes too? No, just me. Now I have dust in my eyes. I never thought I'd say this, but I got honors now 
after that hole. I'm trying to low one right over Ryder's head. Let's I don't do know where the wind's going either, so I'm just gonna eight iron. I think it's down off the left. It's that's gotta be guess. down. I mean, the last hole was like straight into. Yeah, I got eight iron as well. That's the okay. only thing that makes sense. A little draw up into the wind. Wind's gonna try and fight it. Yes. Great shot. What do you think? Eight iron as well. Kozan's put some pressure on. Wind feels like it's swirling, but I know it's down. I just gotta trust it. Nearly shanked it. Blech. It's a very bad golf shot. Got a putt. Right to left, up and over a hill. Knowing me, this would be a putt that I would make, and all those last putts would be the putts, obviously, we missed. So I'm just gonna take that positive thinking and hope that this one goes in. No! 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 <laughs> that might have been like the loud, loudest, like. I mean, that was the most dead center it could get. Ever heard? Hey, bogey free. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm cruising along two putt pars all day, baby. <laughs> I mean, it would have been ten feet by, so I'm happy it hit the pin. They're coming for you. That would have been so sick if that went in. So in the hole still. I'm gonna take the pin out on this one. Okay. <laughs> what the happened? Nice. There we go, out of boy. Good line. Thank you. Solid two putt par yeah. there. Yeah, well Stuff done. Hole, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even par, bogey free for me. We're cruising along through four holes, all square. On the next, straight away, par four. 368, par four, drivable today. I'm just kidding, there's no way. <laughs> no. Yep. Big old swinger. Swinger. I got driver as well, good ball from Kozan. Perfecto. Should be in the short stuff. All right, we got like 55 yards. Pin's very front though, so we gotta put a lot of a lot of nip on this one. I mean, a little right of it too. That bunker, don't be in there. Yeah. Fizzy nips. Tap in. Fizzy nips. Don't worry about making putts when you hit it. Yeah, exactly. Part. Just gotta hit it closer. <laughs> Give me about the same range, maybe five feet, another two putt par. Yep, about five feet. Those are nipped. Those are nipped. <laughs> I'm gonna speak something good into existence. I'm gonna make that putt. Money range, been cash all day from here. From your angle, I didn't think it was possible to keep it on the green short of the pin. Yeah. No. It's like straight down here. No, I nipped it. That's good. Obviously. Yeah, my favorite. Here we go. Okay. End over end, did a good roll, good putt. Um, Bogey free through five. One down now. Kozan with the solid birdie, little tap in. That's where I'm gonna need to start. That's what I'm gonna need to start doing. Giving myself tap ins. Well, last time we played, you really got my head here and I like chunked my second shot in the water though. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. Wait, didn't you make par though? Yeah. <laughs> that I forgot about that. Yeah, you called it. You're like, he's gonna make this. Yeah, that's some bull. Good ball. Thanks. <laughs> Money. All right, guys, I'm gonna aim over these trees a little left. If you hit it over these trees and you kind of like pull it, you're fine. If you push it, you're fine. So just kind of want to aim over the trees and hope you don't hit it straight. That's where I was last time and it is totally fine. Works. 77 yards into the breeze. Like I said, up the left side's totally fine here. I can kind of play this ridge on the left side. Come on, we need a birdie, guys. We need to quit messing around, actually make a putt or give myself a gimme or push it to 25 feet. It's gonna be the one you make though. Yeah, right. That will be the one that goes in. I just cannot read these greens. I think it's like a weird yeah, they're hard thing. Yeah. And then like the one time you actually read them right, then you're, like they'll leave it short. Exactly. Like the one time I finally looked it right was the par three and then I leave it short. Yeah, that's exactly how it goes. 92 yards into the wind. I'm gonna hit a little sandwich and just kind of flight one in there a little bit. <laughs> that's sick. That's so sick, that's going in. Go in. Oh! Hey, tap-ins, oh. you don't have to putt, it's great. That's the key out here, you just gotta hit it close so I can't miss the putt. Oh my gosh. Good job. Thank you. In for birdie. Gotta make this now. I'm not lining this up. I'm just gonna trust it. 
because I think I've been falling in love with the lines and not really picturing the ball go in the hole. So this one needs to go. Uh, bogey free. All right, well, that is my sixth par in a row. Three holes remain, I'm two down. It's not exactly the position I would like to be in, but I can still come back. Comes in up here first, par three. Wind off the right, a little down, coming on our backs. 200 what yards. do you have? I got 200 yards, I got a little five iron. I know I'm a draw guy. I'm gonna try to hit a fade here. You have a five under? I got a five, I'm gonna try and hold one into the wind. A fade? A fade. Right? I don't know what I just said. Crazy thing. No, because I said you have a 500. <laughs> five, I got a 500. Ah, right, brother. It might not fade on the tracer, but with the wind off the right and it goes straight, it acts like a fade. <laughs> what? A shot, brother. Gotta play fades more often. I yeah, think. that's insane. Quan's on to something. <laughs> Good shot. I mean, it's hard to beat, guys. When you're two down and you're coming from behind and you see that, not much you can do, but we're gonna see if we can do something. Please mm. be the number. Please sit, sit. A six? Yeah, that was six. Gotta make something happen. Man, I do. You kinda, it's like one of those points where you kinda like almost feel bad for me. You're like, no. I'm just beating him so bad. No. Like, you're almost, well, you know, you're almost rooting for me. Like, you know, it's, you really gotta I wanna, I wanna happen. be a close match. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I do too. I'm rooting for the game. Right. I'm the, the viewers. For, I'm rooting for the content. Yeah. I agree. I'm rooting for the content. It's hard to play match play in nine holes. Yeah, I'll slip you, I'll slip you 20, you miss, I make. Yeah, yeah. You know, make the content better. Well you're saying 500 earlier, is that what you said to yeah, 500? Sure, I'll yeah. slip you 500, whatever. <laughs> it's like you you miss, I make, we do it for the content, everything's good. I'm telling you, that's the hard part when it's nine hole match play though. It's like you see these 18 hole matches, like there's always whoever is on the up on the front. Yeah. Usually, most of the time, doesn't even win the whole thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you're right. You're right. It always the, flips so much. The, the nine holes definitely, someone can get blown out. And I am unfortunately getting blown out. Oh, okay. I'm going to win these next three holes, Ryder. Next ladder dadder. If he makes it, this is kind of a bonus putt. Well, actually, if he makes it, I need to make this. This could be the dagger. Oh. Yes. I mean, no. Oh. Dang. I look good. <laughs> Dang, man. Where's the break? Where is the break? Been like on the edge too. You know what's funny is I actually pulled that and still missed it right. So I really had the wrong line. Under the last two, two down. We've hit every green though. I, I feel like the swing's been, it's pretty dialed. You have. Which is good news <laughs> for the next video, which is an 18 hole stroke play. So that's one thing I guess I gotta take into account and say, you know what? Let's look at the positives. We're two down, two to play. If the putter gets rolling, Something might happen. Here we go, doggly left, par five. How are you going over the corner? corner? Woo! You going over the corner? I, I should lay up. Have, being two up two to go, I should I should not be hitting this club. I think you should. But I'm gonna. I feel good about it. I'm gonna. I'm good. Go! <laughs> Just kidding. That's fine. All right, bunker. Could be worse. Um, I don't really have the draw in the bag, but we're gonna try. I mean, and the wind's off the left. Yeah, it doesn't really <laughs> help my cause. No, that's gone. See you, ball. Hit something hard. Don't go in the bush. Yeah, yes. Keep coming. All right. I think we'll find that one. Hit path. I saw it bounce. It hit something hard. It did hit something hard. Oh yeah, you're fine. I got a tiny little gap that we're gonna go through. Come on, gotta do something cool. We're gonna have some fun with it, boys. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. You guys might call this really stupid, but sometimes golf is a game to be played for fun. I got a three iron. I'm gonna hit a three iron slice flop. I have to put one somewhere on the green, and this is really, realistically, realistically, this is my only chance. Ow. Oh. Clip the tree, unfortunately. It's the right idea. 167, I think. A little tree trouble, but I can, I'll try failing around here. Too much fade. Too much fade. Uh, middle of the fairway. So lots of positives there. Good positive feedback from that shot. Would like to make my first birdie of the day. It needs to be within five feet, three feet, two feet. Tap and range. Hmm. That was pretty piss poor. It, 
rolled out a lot more than I expected. A little short-sighted. It's kind of sticky. It's, it's kind of sticky in here. So we are two up, two to go. So Birdie, Birdie, you'll do it here. Yeah. Yeah. I should do it. All right, well, unfortunately I lost the match, but this will be fun if I can make one birdie in this video. If I don't, it would be kind of cool though. Get ready to win this, this afternoon's yeah. play though. Yeah. Hey. Enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. That was a good match. Uh, well, solid. <laughs> yeah, you played ball. What, what were you, like three under probably? I think three under with that bogey on the first, which was a hot start. Not the putting performance I would have liked to see. I hit the ball as if I could have had a chance today. Unfortunately, none of the putts fell. That's a very important part of golf. Some might say the most important part of golf. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed that match. Now I'm one and two. Unfortunately, that's two losses in a row. Need to win the next one, hopefully. Um, stay tuned for more content. If you haven't followed Andrew's socials, they'll be linked in the description down below. And again, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.